Congress just passed a stimulus and it is just not enough relief. We need to do more in a Biden administration. And to understand why, let me break down the economic alphabet. We expect more of kind of a W-shaped recovery. A U-shaped recovery. We're having a V-shaped recovery. Don't worry, it's not Greek. It's just simple economics. The letters represent the shape that the economic recovery looks like when you chart it on a graph. Donald Trump likes to talk about one letter in particular. We've been talking about the V. This is better than a V. This is a rocket ship. The fantasy of a V-shaped recovery is that the downward dip in the economy will get erased as the economy recovers right back to where it was before. The V makes it look like everyone dips down and jumps back equally. But that's not what's happening. What's happening is a K-shaped recovery. Special K. Look for the big red K. 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 A recovery looks like a K when an economy bounces back from a recession in an unequal way. One group, including the billionaires and giant corporations, not only recover, but some of them even do a lot better. Everyone else falls sharply and struggles to make it back. It's a story of the haves and the have-nots. Take a big corporation like Amazon. They get even bigger by putting their workers at risk, partly because the Trump administration refuses to enforce laws meant to keep workers healthy and safe. And while regulators are asleep at the switch, giant companies can use the recession as an opportunity to gobble up struggling competitors to become even bigger monopolies. And guess what? The wealth is not trickling down as much as some executives want you to think it does. But that's very expensive. <laughs> During the first six months of the pandemic, the richest people in the United States became $845 billion wealthier. This year, we even inaugurated our first class of centi billionaires. Yep, you heard me right. That's people whose net worth is more than a hundred billion dollars. Meanwhile, on the other side of the K, the picture is not so rosy. The pandemic has forced 40 million Americans to file for unemployment, creating a gaping hole in our economy. The CARES Act provided some real relief. After it passed in March, we saw the share of people in poverty in the United States drop and incomes rise. But then those programs expired, so the glimmer of hope for a stable recovery diminished. As summer turned into fall, the share of Americans in poverty spiked at its fastest rate ever recorded. And now, Congress just passed a bill that won't do enough to stop the devastation. So Congress's to-do list in the new year must include relief and we must permanently upgrade the nation's safety net so our economy is not held hostage to Republican inaction during the next crisis. And if Congress is unwilling, then President Biden should do everything he can to get families relief by taking big, bold executive action. And our new president, he knows his economic alphabet. The president says it's a V-shaped recovery. You say it's a K-shaped recovery. What's the difference? The difference is millionaires and billionaires like him in the middle of the COVID crisis have done very well. But you folks at home, how well are you doing? We need to act to avoid the disparities of a K-shaped downturn from damaging our economy and our families for decades to come. Investing in all of us is how we recover as a nation and how we build a future that is more equitable and more resilient than ever.